at least the original backup here. Let's go back into the root. We're going to go back to the database DB data folder into the database folder. And finally, we're going to go back and find that .com.android.providers.settings and again that's the settings DB that we need and we're going to open the table that's called secure and within the table now yes we're going to modify this line called install non-market apps and we're going to go to the menu edit the record again we're using the SQL Lite as you see here this is the program that allows us to change anything okay now you could do this on the computer as well but you can do it right here on your Android phone totally untethered from your laptop we're gonna save this and uh, oops it says here fail to save so we need to do one more step here that I forgot and when you open the root you may need to do this first which is mount read and write and let's see if we can do that if not we may have to do it in a, in a different way by modifying the the copy not the one that's running because this one here it's still running and it's probably loaded on memory but let's try this way now I've done this a couple of times but I don't I did it one way and it worked and let's see update failed unable to open the database begin exclusive so it's open sorry about that guys we're gonna have to go back and get our copy that's located on our SD card and we put it in the downloads again here's the database that we need to open find the secure table now yes install we're gonna go into edit the record get back one save and this time record updated so this time is saved and now we're ready to copy this folder or this database into the original one but if I do that I don't have any backup to the other one so uh, let's do this let's create a folder here and call original database database date. just for the heck of it we're gonna go back and copy the original one I should have done that before but no DB data databases and we're gonna copy the data this one here copy now we're gonna go back go back go back SD card there's a download original database now I'm gonna say paste okay now I have a complete copy and we're gonna go back one we're gonna copy this that's modified oops go back copy this is the new one that we change the market and we're gonna go and replace inside this DB database and that's where we're gonna paste it right here because that's located in here right database providers okay now the only thing is since this file was oh that was to be placed here oh damn it uh, that drives me crazy let's go back and the SD card download database copy back to DB data databases Android settings now I'm gonna paste it in here it's gonna ask me to download to overwrite that's the confirmation that we have we needed and we probably have an extra copy here so just keep track that way you know that if I made a mistake most likely you guys could perhaps you could make the mistake as well alright so now theoretically we are ready to install but uh, I bet 
in this case it's going to say let's look for the APK file that we downloaded a little while ago it's under the SD card and download I have this one application here it may not work yet because yet yeah, it's still blocked so we need to completely get out of the phone turn it off and turn it back on because that folder or that file the database is still in memory so let's get back out and let's restart the phone I'm gonna stop this video and come back when I start it okay so I came back I just restarted the program and because I have a different SIM card on my phone instead of at the AT&T is asking me here for the network unlock pin number and since I don't have it yet I haven't run that application I don't know this one yet so I'm gonna say dismiss just so I can boot to the regular operating system and let's go into the root explorer so we can try to find that root explorer I'm gonna bring it up to the front to make it easy okay now where do they put that particular app it's under the SD card and under a folder called download and now finally we're gonna try to execute it let's see if that thing works that so far it's the same and guess what now it brought you to another screen which means what we just did was we modified the database and we're able to um, to install apps without going through the Android market which is a great thing I have a source where I download a bunch of apps and if you can get it from a friend or something now the first time you install this app it's going to ask to accept and it gives you this um, uh, screen and here's a trick this SGS which is you no know, Samsung Galaxy S unlock tool it gives you some instruction here there's two methods to do it one with if you are already rooted your phone or not or whatever but anyhow the one that works for me since we already rooted this phone which is the most reliable they say is to use this root method here I don't know if you can read but you click on the menu and that's how you got this and it's going to look for it, ask for permission you have to allow and has been granted and now it gives us the unlock code and that's the number you need to write down in my case here let me write this down 0695200 okay and the unfreeze code also gives you uh, now okay, it saves also on a hard drive or you can actually send via email to yourself and I'll just send it to myself real fast and I'll have a backup copy of it alright so that's all you need is from here in case this does not work which happened to my other phone that I had you have to you can go to the second route here which is generate this nv underscore data dot bin which uh, it's a mess it's not easy I haven't tried it this way on here yet so hopefully this will work let's go ahead and reboot the phone one more time and enter this code to see if we can unlock the phone I'm gonna turn off the video and turn it back okay now just the phone just got back and the first screen that came was this sim network unlock pin and hopefully the pin would work and let me enter in here the one I received for mine I sure hope it will work because I am traveling out of the country and ta -da, requesting network unlock yes unlock successful so my phone is working it should work fine and I should get even a couple of three bars here I hope let's see I do have the sim card in here otherwise it would not ask yep sim card is in here I'm gonna disconnect from the network and yes I did get the three bars now in order to get to the 3G you have to go into um, your settings and your wireless and your mobile network 
in order to get any data, most of the SIM cards on this phone, at least, does not come with that pre-configured, unless if you have the phone that comes with your SIM card, your SIM card that comes with the phone, whatever. But here you have to go into Edit, the APN, and uh, you're going to you know, enter all the data here. In my case, it's Tim um, in Brazil traveling here, and I can put fast that whatever name I want on this first one second on here it basically have to fill up the information that comes from your your provider and I happen to there are plenty of information available on the web for whatever provider you have and this is what I have here on mine my just Tim dot br and the username is Tim password is Tim and the rest is all the same it comes with some default for MCC MNC so this is all the same and I should be able to just remember to save this and activate this connection now you can back out and we should see 3G and that's how I got the 3G symbol to work and I'm ready to go let's do a test and we can go into a web page see if you can get any connection here come on I don't think I need to sign on but Yahoo I just type cnn.com what in the world anyhow I must have mistyped something on the 3G I'm not sure it worked before anyhow guys I hope you enjoyed uh, you were able to install um, applications now from a non-market source because here is one one way but by the way I need to maybe in order to get to the web, I need to log on to the Google account first. No, nope. um, not sure. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day. Thanks. I will make another video on how to unlock uh, the Galaxy Tab, which is my new baby. Love it. All right. Thanks. Bye.